guys, so this is my tuna and avocado salad. This is my one of my favourite go-to lunch dishes and favourite salads. So I've washed the lettuce, I'm now just going to chop it all up so it's not really big. I'm going to place that in my bowl. I'm then just going to chop the end off the cucumber, I don't want that bit. And I have about four or five usually pieces of cucumber, chop them up in quarters and just place them over the lettuce. Next I'm using my red pepper. Red and yellow are my favourites out of the peppers so I try and, because they're sweeter, I try and stick to those rather than green. So I'm just chopping up the, le the peppers but beforehand just taking out all the seeds and any white bits. You don't want to get any of the little seeds in your salad, it's not really nice when you crunch into them. So I'm just placing them over the top of my salad, or the top so far. Now I'm going to chop the red onion. I love red onion in a salad, it gives it so much flavour. And I always use red onion compared to white onion in, in any salads. So I try and chop my onion up quite small, cutting off any bits that aren't, that are a bit gammy, <laughs> a bit, not very nice. So chopping them up and then I'm going to place them over my salad. Okay, next I'm just going to half the avocado, my favourite part. I'm then going to take the pip out of the avocado obviously because I'm not going to eat that. And just with a teaspoon I'm just going to put some bits of avocado over my salad so they're not really big. I'm only using half an avocado for this as well, just because I don't want too much in my tummy at one time. I'm then just going to open a can of tuna with a can, over, can opener obviously, and then just going to break all the tuna up so it's not all clumpy. And then I'm just going to place that over my salad. And once again I'm not going to use a whole can of tuna, I just feel like it is too much if I have a whole can and you don't want too much tuna at one time. I'm then going to drizzle some extra virgin olive oil over my salad. Not too much of this, just a little drizzle. I'm then going to put some balsamic vinegar. I love balsamic vinegar in my salad, especially on a tuna salad. It just goes so well. Once again, a little drizzle, nothing too mad. And then just going to cut up a lemon. This gives such a nice flavour to a salad. So always try and put a lemon. I drizzle it once again on top. The flavours just taste amazing. A little bit of salt and a tiny bit of pepper just for some extra flavour and there is my tuna salad. Yum yum yum. I'm then just going to munch it away and trust me this will not last long, <laughs> especially now I'm pregnant. Such a nice nutritious dish and I feel so healthy eating it and it fills me up. Okay guys, so I'm now going to make a really delicious recipe which is actually one of my favourites from this HelloFresh box that was delivered to me this week. So a bit about HelloFresh, they're the UK's first leading recipe box service. So they source the highest quality ingredients in the exact quantities that you need for recipes that our talented chefs create week on week. So they send all the food to your door on request along with a step-by-step -step guide to each recipe and it's in a refrigerated box so it stays fresh for you. So, you choose the recipes that you want for the week and for how many people. So the reason I'm showing you this guys is because it's such an amazing way of eating healthy, especially if you're not too experienced in the whole thing. So the goals for HelloFresh is they want to change the way people eat. They want to shake up everyone's dinner routine and offer something new, exciting and tasty every week. They're also willing to give you fresh ingredients delivered straight to your door. So you don't need to go to a checkout, you don't need to go to a supermarket, it's all there for you. And the best thing about this, which I find quite amazing, is they've actually chosen the freshest ingredients and they've given all the nutritional information attached so you know exactly what you're eating and most importantly, you're eating clearer and healthier than ready meals or takeaways, which is great. So I've actually chosen the veggie box and this box is for two people and this box cost £36 but if you go to the bottom of this video they're actually giving £25 off your first box which is great. 
So you can choose how many people the box is for, whether it's for a family or two people. My one is for two. And you can even choose the recipes that you get each week in the box. And this week they've given me three recipes. They've given me a ratatouille, a veggie shepherd's pie and a veggie risotto. Okay, so following the recipe that they've given me in the box, I'm going to make one of my favourite dishes, which is a veggie shepherd's pie, which is amazing that they've got it in this box. I'm going to follow through with their recipe. Okay, so I've got all the recipes out ready. So firstly, I'm just going to chop the potatoes that are given me in the box. I'm going to chop them up into about two centimetre chunks and there's no need to peel these. So once I've chopped these up, I'm then going to pop them in a pot and I'm going to put that pot on a high heat. Obviously put water in it. <laughs> and I'm just going to leave it on the stove to boil. So I'm then going to chop up my mushrooms, my carrot, my onion, my celery. So I'm going to chop these up into quite small pieces and I'm just going to put them, pile them all on a plate. I would leave them all on the chopping board, but it's just not enough room. <laughs> Once I've found a knife that actually cut through my onion, I'm just going to chop up my onion into similar sizes. Once again, quite small. I don't like having really big chunks of veg in my shepherd's pie, but it's completely up to you guys. I'm then going to cut the ends off my celery stick and cut my celery up. Then I'm going to grate my carrot, I'm going to chop the ends off because I don't really want to be eating them and then I'm going to chop the carrot up into similar sized pieces once again. I'm then just going to chop the garlic up, it does suggest to grate in the HelloFresh recipe so I would suggest doing that. I'm then going to add some oil and leave it on the heat for about 3-4 minutes and then I'm going to add all of those ingredients that I've chopped to um, warm and fry nicely in the pan. I'm then going to chop really finely, and I mean more finely than I have in the video, um, I, I'm chopping up my parsley. I don't mind my parsley a little bit bigger, but I would suggest chopping up a bit more. I'm then going to grate the cheddar cheese, and this is for the ends to put on top of my shepherd's pie. So I'm just getting all these prepared. I'm then going to open my tin of lentils that were given to me and this is a really really good brand of lentils so I'm really impressed with what they've given me and I'm just going to leave those in a bowl once they're drained in my sieve. I'm then going to add the garlic to the pan um, with the ground coriander and rosemary and I'm just going to cook that for one minute more. going to add the vegetable stock cube, the tomato passata and I'm also going to add the water and Worcester, can't say it, <laughs> Worcester sauce and I'm just going to mix that up and leave that to simmer. Okay I'm then going to drain the potatoes, add my butter and then going to mash that and give it a really 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 good mash for the top of my sauce. I'm going to add the lentils to my sauce. Also adding the parsley and giving that a really, really good stir. And just adding a bit more salt and pepper for flavouring. Once that is finished cooking, I'm just going to spoon that into my container, ready to put under the grill. I'm just going to spread, make sure I get it all out of the pan, spread it all over so it's all... Uh, at the same level looks delicious so much goodness in this <laughs>
I'm then going to just put the potato and mashed on top and once that's all on I'm just going to get a fork and just very carefully make sure it's spread all across the sauce so you can't really see any sauce and I also like doing some designs <laughs> in my potato when I do shepherd's pie because I just think it looks looks nicer and it gives it my own touch you can see the uh, skin but that's not a, not a problem because you can eat the skin I'm then going to add my cheddar cheese that I grated earlier on top and once I've done that, that will go into the grill and I'll put it into the grill for about five to seven minutes. Once it's done, I take it out and I serve it up. As you can see, I'm chomping away because I'm so hungry after making this meal. <laughs> so much yumminess in it. Okay, next I'm going to make my soya bean stir fry and this is my last dish to show you guys. The good thing about this dish is it's really versatile. I eat it for lunch and it also you can have it for dinner as well. I just put some water in the saucepan, left it on the heat to boil. I'm just going to cut up my pepper. I'm using about half a pepper and I'm going to use a green one in this one. Then going to chop up a small white onion. I chop these pieces once again into small-ish pieces but not too small. I'm then going to use a red chilli, now you can leave this out if you don't like hot food but it just gives it a bit of a kick for a stir fry and I chop these up really really finely. I'm then just going to put those all on a plate once again, I'm going to chop the ends off the carrots and grate them. I'm not going to I'm not going to grate the skin off these carrots because they're actually organic carrots and with a wash they're fine. So I'm going to grate them all into a small bowl. Okay, so once I've done that I'm going to use some sesame oil. I'm just going to pour some in the pan and put that on the heat to warm up for about 3-4 minutes. Once that's all heated I'm then going to add my onions first I'm then going to put my noodles into my hot water once it's boiled and then add the rest of my veg to the frying pan but not adding the carrots yet because they heat up really quickly I added a little bit of soy sauce, I normally add some honey but I didn't have any so I added some sweet chilli sauce a tiny bit I'm then going to add my chilies. I'm then going to drain my noodles and add the carrots to the pan. Once my noodles are done and I've drained them, I'm then going to add them to the frying pan and I'm going to give it a real good mix, make sure the flavour is in the noodles as well as the veg. And once I've done that, I can serve up a really quick dish. And these noodles are really light, they're rice to light noodles, so it may look a lot, but actually when I eat it, it's a light, it's quite a light dish. Make sure I've got some water. <laughs> and it's so yummy.